full story summary on mismatched. Shorya Sabirwal belongs to an affluent family in Chandigarh. He is a modern day misogynist and believes that women should be restricted from studying and working. He has such a nature because his mother left him in his childhood unwillingly to pursue her career to aid and support her elderly parents, while he was influenced by thinking of his uncle and aunt. On the other hand, Anukhi Balla is an ambitious and headstrong girl, willing to mark society. Having a completely different ideology, she feels that society is patriarchal and women should strive to live on their terms. The story begins with Shorya's engagement with his longtime girlfriend, Shagun. However, on the engagement day, Shagun reveals to Shorya that she is willing to go to Cambridge to study further. A reluctant Shorya asks her to choose between her married life and Cambridge. Shagun chooses to follow her dream while an infuriated Shorya breaks the engagement. On the other hand, Anukhi studies in the same college in which Shorya's mother, Astha, is a professor. Astha is highly supportive of Anukhi. Mismatched lead actors. Anukhi participates in a debate competition where she speaks up about the need for women to become independent. She wins the competition and gets awarded by none other than Shorya, who is the guest of honor of the competition. After the competition, Astha wishes to meet her son, Shorya. As he is about to go, Astha goes towards him and tries to talk to him. Shorya refuses to talk to her and behaves with her very rudely. Anoki sees this from a distance and comes in between them. She confronts Shorya for his misbehavior and asks him to apologize Astha. Shorya refuses and goes away. Anoki didn't know that Shorya is the son of Astha. Anoki's father fixes her marriage with an orthodox and alcoholic person, Monty, much to Anoki bubbly and Rama's reluctance. Anoki's in-laws permit her to continue her studies after marriage in Toronto, Canada. But the actual colors of the family are revealed when she overhears Monty's conversation wherein he addresses wives as glorified servants and reveals his unwillingness to allow Anoki to study. Anoki pleads her father to stop her marriage, but he locks her up in her room. Later, bubbly and Rama learn of Monty's ugly side. They decide to free Anoki from this forced relation and helps her to run away. Anoki manages to escape her marriage and arrives at Astha's house. Astha facilitates her admission at Sabirwal Institute of Arts and Commerce, SIAC, by requesting her estranged husband, Shan. Shorya bombards Anoki with questions, but she cracks the interview with flying colors. The confidence with which she answered all the questions astonished all panel members. Later, Anuki had to arrange for her transfer certificate and 50,000 rupees for her admission. Bubbly tries to help Anuki by lending her gold bangles, which she can mortgage. But Puneet foils their plan and insults them. Shorya accuses Anuki of theft and refuses to provide her admission. But Astha proves Anuki's innocence. Thus, Anuki is finally admitted to SIAC. Anuki finds it difficult in adjusting to her new classmate at SIAC. After college premises, the students confined Anuki and insulted her and then locked her up in the classroom. Anuki was deeply traumatized after this incident, but she mustered courage and sought to expose the students. The group of students, led by Kitty and Bibo, Shorya's cousin sisters, used tactful ways to confute Anuki's claim. Shorya too initially refuted all her claims, but later they teamed up to expose the students. Ultimately, the students accepted their mistakes. Elsewhere, an agitated Raja shoots Astha, who Anuki's parents later rescued. Astha is quickly rushed to Chandigarh, where she is operated on. Anuki and Shan worry about Astha as the latter's health deteriorates. Gayatri gets tensed upon listening about Astha's deteriorating health. Thus, she insists Shorya meet Astha. Later, it is shown that Shorya visits Astha. This reveals that Shorya is not bad at heart and cares about his mother. But the latter's past constantly haunts him, due to which he cannot express his love for his mother freely. Later, an enraged Devi confronts Astha. Shorya overhears their conversation and again misunderstands Astha and hurls accusations at her. Anuki, who was hearing all this, defends Astha. Later, after a heated argument, Devi manipulates Shan to give divorce to Astha. Astha expresses her desire of celebrating Shorya's birthday with him. Anuki conveys this to Shorya who sternly refuses and mistakenly harms Anuki. Later, Astha comes to Shorya to clear out all grudges with him. Shorya, 
who was reluctant to hear her, brutally insults her. So she leaves. When Astha goes missing, Shorya and Anuki search for her together. When they search for Astha in the market, they are caught during a riot. Anuki is injured in a blast near the market, but Shorya rescues her and has her hospitalized. Elsewhere, Shan finds Astha. When Astha is found, Shorya unwillingly seeks forgiveness from her. Later, Shorya becomes envious of seeing Anuki getting close to ACP Ahir. To separate Shorya from Astha and Anuki, Tej plans to appoint him as the chairman of their college's new branch at Patiala. This is when Shorya realizes that he is falling for Anuki. Ahir's growing concern for Anuki irks Shorya and the latter vents his frustration on Anuki. Anuki couldn't tolerate the insult and decides to return to her hometown, Kapurthala. Before leaving for Kapurthala, Anuki appears for the economics preliminary examination. Although she had worked hard for this and topped the exam, she is accused of cheating. She was on the verge of rustication, but Shorya proves her innocence. Even though she was proven innocent, she doesn't change her decision to leave the college. Elsewhere, Astha and Shan file for a divorce. Even though they separate legally, Shan decides to start afresh with Astha. Later, Shorya convinces Anuki to continue her studies at SIAC. Astha becomes skeptical about Shorya and Anuki's relationship as she realizes that Shorya and Anuki are falling for each other. Further, Shagun makes a re-entry, intending to spoil Shorya and Anuki's budding love. Amidst this, Shorya realizes how much he loves Anuki and wants to tell her this. He travels to Anuki's hostel, drenched in the rain, where he falls sick. Shorya spends most of the night with Anuki, whilst Devi is worried about where Shorya is. She calls ACP Ahir to help investigate who eventually finds Shorya. To prevent Anuki from getting in trouble, Shorya formulates a plan to seem as if he was in the library. Anuki gets off the hook. Shorya wishes to tell Anuki about his feelings on the day of the festival. However, his plans are spoiled because of ACP Ahir. In a fit of rage, he accidentally crashes into Ahir's car and, as a result, is arrested. ACP Ahir also reveals that he has feelings for Anuki. Shagun sees that Shorya has moved on and is smitten with someone else, so she prepares to go despite Devi's protests. However, Shorya mistakes Shagun for Anuki and lovingly colors her face. This puts Shagun under the delusion that Shorya still has feelings for her. She takes the vacant job of the professor for economics at SIAC and tells Shorya why she has come back from the UK, but he tries to explain that he likes Anuki now and that Shagun should not have left her career for this. When Anuki enters the room, Shorya is rude to her. Later, he apologizes and asks her to dine with him on a date. Anuki, ecstatic, agrees. After which, Devi makes a plan and sends Shagun to the date where Anuki misunderstands Shorya. Shorya proposes to Anuki, but she thinks that he is taking revenge on her. A furious Shorya goes to Goa without letting anyone know, but Anuki follows him to Goa, where Bubbly and ACP Ahir reaches too. Soon, Shorya gets into an accident and Astha and Devi fight about rights over Shorya. The truth finally comes out that Shorya and Anuki are in love with each other. Soon, Shorya goes missing and is assumed to be lost somewhere, which worries the Sabirvils and Astha. Astha comforts Devi and the two come closer during this time and understand that they both are mothers. One gave birth to Shorya and the other raised him. Shagun confronts Anuki and asks her where she has hidden Shorya. Shocked, Anuki looks for him and soon finds out that it was Vineet who kidnapped him with other goons so that he could demand ransom from the Sabirvils. After she tells the Sabirvils that her sister's husband kidnapped Shorya, Devi blames Anuki for his kidnapping. After much effort, she finds Shorya, but the Sabirvils reach there and leave with Shorya. The next day, Shorya tries to find Anuki, but the receptionist tells him that she, with her sister and Ahir, left for Chandigarh. Shorya tries to reach there but receives the news of Devi's minor heart attack and rushes to the villa. Devi asks Shorya to get engaged to Shagun, but he denies it. Devi fakes a heart attack and thus Shorya gets engaged to Shagun. However, the next day he meets Anuki and they both confess their love for each other. Still, Anuki chooses her career and leaves Shorya where in a fit of anger, he fills vermilion in Anuki's hairline, making her Mrs. Anuki Shorya Sabirwal.
Even though Shorya is happy about the marriage, Anuki is furious at Shorya for deciding without even asking her. She claims that she can't believe that the person who didn't even fight for her mother's rights will fight for her rights. She puts a condition for him to accept his mother into his life and become a good son and then try to become a good husband. However, Astha refuses to come back. Shorya visits Anuki and tells her about Astha's decision where the couple shares a few romantic moments. Ahir proposes to Anuki for marriage where she refuses and tells him the truth of her marriage. Elsewhere, Anuki is selected for an economics seminar in Delhi where Shorya plans a romantic trip. The couple shares romantic moments under the rain, and Shorya pours his heart out to Anuki about why he hates his mother, Astha. Later Shagun tracks down Shorya and Anuki, and she learns about Shorya's marriage with Anuki. The family members learn of Shorya's marriage at which point they confront Shorya, but he takes a stand and says that he loves Anuki and thus married her. Tej and Devi wisely send Shorya to Patiala, and in Shorya's absence, they risticate Anuki from college and hostel. Shorya reconciles with Astha. When he learns of Anuki's restication, he gets mad at the Sabirvals. Tej refuses to accept Anuki as the daughter-in-law of Sabirvals and therefore Shorya leaves Sabirwal mansion. However, Tej meets Anuki privately and blackmails her into leaving Shorya or else he will disown Shorya and ruin his career. As a result of this, Anuki hides in ACP Ahir's basement without the knowledge of Shorya, who is desperately looking for her. With the help of ACP Ahir, he finds Anuki. When he tries to talk to her, she shouts at him, stating that she does not accept their marriage and that he should go away. Shorya reluctantly leaves and goes to the Sabirwal mansion, telling his family that the story of Shorya and Anuki is over, much to their delight. He then goes into his room, sulking intensively, mirroring Anuki's emotions. The next day, some guys tease Anuki. She gets dizzy. Shorya goes and holds her. He brings her back to her consciousness. Shorya drops Anuki home and discovers that the reason behind her rude behavior is something else. He asks Anuki about the reason, but she remains quiet. But Shorya forces her to reveal her conversation with Tej. While Anuki tries to apologize to Shorya, he gets furious as Anuki cannot take a stand for their love and decided to leave him. He proclaims that their relationship is over and leaves the house. A broken Anuki tries to stop Shorya but her efforts remain futile. Later on, Shorya brings Shan, Astha, Bubbly and Ahir together and announces that he has decided to marry Anuki again with all the rituals and marital vows. He also says that Anuki should not be aware of their plan. While initially everyone remains a bit hesitant, later on, for the sake of Shorya and Anuki's love, all of them agree to the plan. While Anuki regrets her actions and for losing Shorya forever, Shorya goes to Kapurthala to meet the Bhallas and express his desire to marry Anuki. They agree with Shorya and Anuki's marriage wholeheartedly. The next day, Shorya announces in front of the Sabarwals that he will marry Anuki again, leaving everyone in a state of shock. He asks Devi to make a list of all the rituals to be conducted and to discuss with Astha and decide among themselves who is going to perform which of the rituals. Devi tells Shorya that Astha cannot be invited to the wedding, to which Shorya replies that it's not possible and if Devi doesn't want to be a part of the function, she need not, leaving her in shock. Later on, at college, Shorya asks Shagun whether she can join in his plan for fooling Anuki by playing along for a fake marriage, to which Shagun agrees. Later on, Shorya declares in front of Anuki that he will marry Shagun, leaving her traumatized. Shorya then asks Anuki if she would be able to prepare decorations for the wedding alongside Bubbly. Anuki reluctantly agrees and undergoes a lot of stress in a period where all of her close ones are focused on Shorya's wedding. On the day of the Shagan, Anuki arrives in a beautiful sari leaving Shorya mesmerized. While Anuki continues to believe that Shorya is getting married to Shagun, Astha and Bubbly conduct the rituals of Shagan stealthily without making her feel suspicious about anything. The next day, for the Mendi, Shorya secretly makes the Mendi artist write his name on Anuki's hand, leaving her surprise. By the end of the ceremony, unable to handle herself and on Rima's insistence, Anuki ends up confessing her undying love for Shorya and requests him to stop the wedding. At that moment, Shorya shows Anuki the wedding card and reveals that it's their wedding. He says that he played all these games to make Anuki realize that they cannot live without each other and shouldn't give up on their love.
they embrace each other as both Bhallas and Sabirwals join in on their happiness. On the day of the wedding, Shorya and his family arrive with Bharat. He then asks everyone where Tej is but no one has a clue. It is then when Tej makes a surprise entry to the wedding, telling Shorya that his happiness is most important. Shorya and Anukhi seek Tej's blessings which he reluctantly gives. The couple then put garlands around each other's necks. Later, Anukhi gets a message that her sociology exam has been proponed on the same day from 11.30 am to 2.30 pm. Anukhi panics as she does not know what to decide. While coming back down she bursts into tears, telling Shorya about the exam getting proponed and if she doesn't appear in the exam then it would waste her one year worth of efforts. Shorya immediately tells her to go prioritize the exam and gives her a pen, but tells her to be quick enough to make it in time for the wedding. She thanks him and everyone wishes her best of luck. Then she and Reema directly head off to SIAC to appear in the exam. Whilst taking in consideration of the auspicious time, Anuki sits the exam and is en route to finishing early at 2 pm. However, one last question takes her an extra 15 minutes, meaning she leaves the exam hall at 2 15. Moreover, Anuki receives the news that the main road was bombarded with heavy traffic due to a truck accident. Upon hearing this, she becomes depleted and goes downstairs when she sees the whole Bharat at the college. Shorya and Anuki quickly complete the circumambulations and Shorya applies the sindoor once again on Anuki's hair parting. Thus Shorya and Anuki get officially married. They then go to Sabirwal house and starts for the Grapravesh ritual. When Devi starts to do the ritual, Anuki requests Astha to start it first which she agrees and does. Anuki and Shorya then asks Devi to do it next as she is also Shorya's mother but she refuses to perform a ritual which is already done by someone else. After everyone's pleadings she finally agrees and does the rasam. Then Shorya and Anuki takes everyone's blessings when Devi says to Anuki to go and take blessings from Mata Rani in the house, Mandir, when Shagun and some other women accompany her to the Mandir. The women suspect Anuki of being pregnant and talk ill about Tej and Devi being suppressive in-laws. Hearing to those, Anuki gives a back reply tells them that she won't tolerate anyone talking anything bad about her family, saying so she goes. Later, Devi calls Anuki and lashes out at her for insulting their close relatives but she tells them that what the women actually said about their family. Shorya and Shan to support her. Then Shorya takes Anuki to the room. While she is taking off her jewelry Shorya back hugs her and flirts with her. Kanchan calls them out to get ready for their reception. Anuki sends him away in order to get ready for the reception. Shorya comes well dressed and everyone calls him handsome. Anuki also comes down and everyone praises her for her beauty. They then head off to the reception venue. Anuki then meets her father and mother and gets too happy. Devi tells her to go and greet the guests. A guest asks her about her planning for further studies. Devi intervenes and replies that she won't study anymore as she is now the daughter-in-law of their house. Anuki looks shocked and stunned. The guests goes and Anuki asks Devi why she answered it but Devi doesn't reply and goes. Anuki worries and Bubbly asks her the reason she tells her about her fear that she might need to compromise with her studies in order to say the daughter-in-law of Sabir Wills. Bubbly assures her that Shorya won't let anything happen as he is always with her. Shorya and Anuki share a good time with each other later. The party ends. They move to their room where everyone is gathered. They ask what happened when Alok tells everyone that Shagun had drunk a lot and felt unconscious. She tries hard to stay in room but Shorya removes her out of room. Later Shorya and Anuki spend a romantic night. In morning, Shorya and Anuki wake up and have a conversation when Kanchan comes and calls out Anuki for Pali Risoi Ki Rasam. She then gets ready and goes in the kitchen. Devi gives her a long list of menu which she has to prepare in three hours. She also tells that no one can help her. Shorya comes and gives her the idea of seeking help from Bubbly. She does. Everyone comes in the dining table. Meanwhile, Alok tries to take advantage of a student Priyanka's helplessness and tries to molest her but she manages to escape. Priyanka lodges a complaint against Alok and Anuki supports her much to the infuriation of Sabirwal family, who fear of losing their face while Shorya is confused about the same. Shagun manipulates Priyanka and asks her to make a fake recording against Anuki. Sabir will throw Anuki out of house where Shorya helps an investigation with help of ACP Ahir and Priyanka reveals everything and proves Anuki innocent. 
Shorya leaves Sabirwal's to stay with Anukhi where Sabirwal's finally realize their mistake and throws Alok out of house and apologies Anukhi and Astha. The show ends when the Sabirwal's reunite. Thank you for watching subscribe.